When we talk about music during the Mass, the most definitive document that the Church has given on music in the Mass comes to us from 1967. The name of the document is Musicum Sacrum. Here's what Musicum Sacrum says about the three degrees of music in the liturgy. These degrees are so arranged that the first may be used even by itself, but the second and the third, wholly or partially, may never be used without the first. In this way, the faithful will be continually led towards an even greater participation in the singing. These are the three categories of the things that should be sung at Mass. The first and the most important is the things that are dialogues. The second category is what is called the ordinary of the Mass. We'll come back to that in a minute. And the third category is what's called the proper of the Mass. Let's start with the proper of the Mass. The proper of the Mass is the last thing in the mind of the church that should be sung. The proper of the Mass includes things that change from Mass to Mass. So for example, fundamentally, the entrance song, the offertory song, and the communion song. Among the things to be sung, there is a second category. In this category, we include things like the Gloria and the Creed. The most important things to be sung in the Mass are the dialogues. In the category of dialogues, this is things like the Lord be with you and with your spirit between the priest and the people or the gospel of the Lord, praise to you Lord Jesus Christ between the deacon and the people or the word of the Lord, thanks be to God between the lector and the people. Now I know that most places have not followed the structure given by Musicum Sacrum in terms of the order of preferences to be sung. But if we could begin to do just small pieces of it, we would begin to be more and more like the mystery of the Trinity. One thing that I recommend to priests and to deacons is to begin simply with the things to which the people respond Amen. So the opening prayer of the Mass, which is also called the Collect, can be chanted by the priest and it concludes with, through Christ our Lord, and the people could respond, Amen. And if over the course of the Mass, the people were to respond with this Amen consistently, we add a little piece and then a little piece more. The more we sing the dialogues of the Mass, the more our prayer at Mass will resemble the love song of the Trinity.